I mean, I'm absolutely blown away. I, you know, not expecting them to get this far done. I'd say they're probably about halfway done with the excavation uh, portion of the scope of work. Yeah. So yeah, it's looking real good. Looking like um, we'll be done ahead of schedule. Which was yeah. when? Well, the original schedule was February of next year. Um, they have the full nine months to do the job, but um, you know they were anticipating to be completed by November. So, yeah. So we'll see. In my experience, this is the biggest dredging project we've done so far. Uh, this is 42,000 cubic yards, and I think the next biggest one we've done recently, um, under my watch, would be at Wailoa in Hilo, and that was 24,000. So yeah, it's definitely the biggest one so far. Uh, the last part, I mean, really, it's just about getting the, the inside of the channel ready with the excavation equipment. And then uh, once they've got that prepped, they're going to bring in the crane. And then the crane's going to take away the rest of the material that's on the ocean side. And then that'll open up the boat ramp. Now, at the ocean entrance, that's all sand and boulder there. Will you have to put some walls in to stabilize it on that side at all? Or? Yeah, we we didn't have enough funding to do that. So what we did instead was the approach was to do a very wide channel. And that way you have a big wide open channel um, instead of a narrower channel with protective structures on either side. Uh, I believe the entrance will be 300 feet wide. Um, and before, there really wasn't a channel before, it was just an open bay, but the designated channel I think was 40 feet. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are just so excited, especially the fishermen, um, but all of, you know, all the community and everyone who's you know used Pohuiki as a, a place to you know have fun and you know hang out on the weekends and everything. I mean, everyone's really excited to basically reopen the whole area and uh, you know get back to life before the eruption. This has probably been one of the highest priority projects that I've worked on, and yeah, since we started on it, um, you know, it's been a huge priority just because of the the, the significant impacts it has on the on the people who use the boat ramp and, and need it for their livelihood. Yeah, we know just from experience that it, it's about every seven to eight years uh, is the dredging cycle, yeah, for Wailoa. Oh, for Pohoiki? Yeah. You know, that's to be seen. Um, you know, we really, this is like an unprecedented thing. It's not like fine sediment that you get, um, uh, like sand and silt that you get for normal dredging projects. It's got a lot of heavy material. So we don't really know exactly how to predict um, how quickly the channel might start to fill in or how soon we're going to have to dredge. So yeah, we're going to just have to closely monitor it after we complete and then, um, you know, and then we'll kind of get a better idea after that.